Shane Cairns back in Hobart again and uh, that wretched Storm Bay and, uh, <laughs> and the Derwent River uh, cause you a few problems don't they? Well as bad as that was, well it, it was bad, the storm you know that everybody's talking about and all the retirements and all that sort of thing, the Storm Bay and the Derwent um, it's worse because there's just nothing you can do. Whereas in a, in a storm, you know, you just hunker down and you're in some sort of control uh, of your own destiny. Uh, but in, in, in Storm Bay with no wind, you've got none. And it must be pretty tough, isn't it? I think uh, we were, the media centre was talking to you yesterday afternoon and you were feeling fairly upbeat at five knots. We could still make it. And that must have been channelling the previous year, uh, pre previous Hobart, I imagine. Yeah, 2015 came back and I got the speech out all ready to go again. And um, it, it really looked doable. And... Uh, but you know how things always work out in a storm bay and I think they need to change the name of that place as well because uh, yeah it's a bit of a misnomer <laughs> Tell us a little bit about the first night because that would have been tough I guess but uh, manageable? Uh, yeah yeah well um, you know this these boats are really safe, the SNS 34s, and you know I've made it a little bit racy. But when a storm comes in, this is definitely the boat to be on. And um, we just uh, reduced sail and got it all sorted out, and, um, and it was just just lasted out. And you saw in the results when we came out um, after a day and a half or whatever it was, uh, we'd done really well, um, and uh, no one got hurt, no ge no gear damage, no anything. So uh, yeah, we're really really uh, fired up after that. <laughs> Well, it must be nice to be back in Hobart. There's always a great uh, atmosphere here as well. Oh, yeah. No, this is great. I'm glad the club persevered and, yeah. you know, and, and the um, Tasmanian government, New South Wales government, everybody, yeah. and to make the race go ahead. And, um, and even though I made a bit of a mistake this year and we didn't quite win, next year, for sure, you can take that to the bank. All right, well, we'll bring that one back to you next year. Um, fantastic to see the two-handed division, isn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah. We're... we're we're, sometimes we're completely by ourselves at the back, and um, but with the two-handed, uh, we've always got them around us, you know, and that sort of thing. So um, it was great, and they they did really good, yeah. you know, because um, you know there's six of us, so you get fairly fatigued, and you know, and you've always got each other to draw on, you know, there's six people and that sort of thing to help. Whereas those guys, they they did it tough, but they still sailed really well. Yeah, and you've got a sister ship in Crux as well, who's been doing a mighty job. Yeah, yeah. The problem is, yeah. Um, you know, I've been helping him out, and he said, "Don't worry, we're going to follow you." And he did. He, every time I turned around, he was right behind us. But uh, and that's good. But <laughs> it doesn't make you feel good when they've only got two blokes and they're keeping up with you. Um, that's a bit depressing. So tell us about Tasman Island. I seem to remember in the Hobarts I ever did. We just could never get around that corner. What is it about Tasman Island that just goes on forever, getting past the light and out into Storm Bay? Yeah, well, it is a massive big hunk of rock. You know, you can see it from 20 miles out, and it, it just takes so long. And if you go in too close, you get sucked in, and then the swell's coming off the um, off the cliffs and coming back out. Your sails just flap everywhere. They've got no power, and you just sit there for hours while the crew say what a moron you are for going in so close because you're trying to cut the corner. Corner. Never cut the corner at Tasman Island. Uh, go wide, and hopefully it's really blowing. <laughs> if it's really light, it's you just know you're going to be in for a world of pain. And your crew, similar to last year? Uh, last, time? Well, last time? Yeah, myself, Jim, and Duncan, and uh, Clint's wife had a baby. Um, Adrian and uh, Ferret, they're Tasmanian guys, so they couldn't come up oh. and, and for any of the races. So that's why I say two of them stepped on on. Uh, on um, Boxing Day morning, and um, yeah, we just haven't had a lot of time together. But yeah, it is similar guys, and the boat doesn't is not changed, so it's just you know get back on and go again. Right. All right. Well, our abiding memory is we're going to come back to you and say next year for sure. Yes. For sure. And remember, take that to the bank. <laughs> take that to the bank. Thanks so much, Shane. No See you later. Bye. Enjoy your celebrations.